Welcome to Johnny Makes Maths. It's not Truffaut or Tarantino, but hopefully you'll see enough to enable you to make a thing of beauty. Episode 1. Icosahedron with a twist. You will need five sheets of A4 paper, some scissors. You can use compasses, but I'm going to use a circular template. This one just happens to have a picture of me on when I was young. A pencil. Glue or a stapler. Don't put the stapler there, Johnny. Mm, that was a bit of a mistake. With my template, I can get five circles on each sheet of A4 paper. If you're using compasses and you set them to five centimetres, you should be able to get five reasonably sized circles on each sheet. Seems to be going well so far. Oh yes, happy with that. Five beautiful circles, not that you can see them there. And now we've cut them out. And through the power of video, here's one I've cut out. Take your time when you're cutting them out, because precision equals beauty. Now, if you've used a template like I have, we will need to find the centre of each circle. And to do this, fold in half, but don't crease down the centre, just pinch near where you think the centre is. And if you fold the other way, lower it, Johnny, lower it, Johnny, they can't see what you're doing. Lower it. Pinch. Lower it, lower it. That's, no, yep, no. Lower it. L no, low. that's it. So where the two pinch marks cross, put a little dot, and that'll be our centre, which we will use to make our model. Because we're only pinched and not creased all the way across, it will enhance the final model. So, for each circle, the first thing we're going to do is fold the edge to the centre of the circle. Take your time, we're folding it so we just cover part of the dot, but we can still see the dot. Oh yes, happy with that. Our second fold, we fold the edge to the centre again, but at the same time we're trying to make a nice sharp angle at the top. This is a bit fiddly. Take your time. There we have it. Beautiful sharp angle. And our final fold is upwards to the centre. And this fold will give us two more sharp angles. Again, this is a bit fiddly. Take your time. Precision is beauty. Okay, seems to be going reasonably well. Bit of finessing, bit of finessing, not quite happy. A bit more finessing, maybe. Mm. A bit more finessing. Nearly there. You don't really need to see my finessing, fortunately. I think we've nearly got it. Nearly, a bit more finessing maybe. Oh yes, yes, I think it's there. A beautiful equilateral triangle. Three acute angles, 60 degrees each. And this triangle is going to form the face of our icosahedron. And we're going to join the triangles together by using the flaps. But we need another 19. Oh, things are looking up. The stapler's gone. It's a lot lighter. There's surf music. It does take quite a while to make all these shapes. And I would strongly recommend that you have at least one cup of tea.
remember, try and be as precise as possible because this will help with your final model. And we'll start to be a reasonable pile there. I think we're closing in. Hope you enjoyed your cup of tea. Oh yes, that's a nice pile of 20 triangles. And now we need to put them together. And the key to this is ensure that you've always got five triangles joined together at a point. Another pair of hands would be useful at this stage but if you take your time, try and match the triangles and the flaps up and you will eventually produce a finger beat. And there's the fourth one down in, last one. And we have already produced I think a thing of beauty. Yes, quite pleasing. So now what we're going to do is build on that original five, keep adding triangles and ensuring all the time that you've got five triangles joined together at a point. Keep counting, one, two, three, four, five. Well done, Johnny. Over there we can see the five. Two yellows, a pink, a blue, a green. Oh, it's taking shape now. Don't know about you, but I'm getting quite excited. Two, three, four, five. Keep counting. Keep counting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, not happy with it there. No, not happy with it there. I wonder why. because you want it there. Must be something to do with the harmony of the colours. Closing in now, closing in. Oh yes, just one to go, and there it is. The completed model, a beautiful icosahedron. Hope you enjoyed making the model. I shall be posting episode two on Johnny Makes Maths in a couple of weeks, or possibly longer if it's sunny. Bye for now.